Georgia Southern Athletics here with Eagles head coach Chris Bozab. And coach, tonight the team takes a loss to Florida Atlantic, but a very good first half, 35-30 to 30 going into the locker room. What was the difference there in that first half between the second? I felt like we really competed the first 20 minutes through adversity. We got ourselves into some foul trouble. We had some troubles uh, with turnovers, and even when we didn't turn the ball over with um, not getting great shots, being forced out, um, we knew FAU was going to press us for 94 feet, and you know they did a good job with it. But I thought our kids really, really battled those first 20 minutes. We would make a run when they would, and um, the second half, the first, I don't know, eight, ten minutes was much of the same. A game of runs, and then we kind of got to a breaking point where I thought there were a few key possessions where we did not sustain competing every play. There were a couple um, box outs, missed box outs, where, um, you know, 25 Miller was getting hot anyway, and then she really could get her confidence scoring off old board putbacks, a couple turnovers leading directly to, to points for them, um, where I thought we were a little sloppy with the ball, um, more so than, than their pressure, although their pressure was good throughout the whole game. So, you know, those times when we kind of broke down and, and weren't competing, when we let what they did kind of affect us instead of um, dictate our own tempo, and, and that's what we need to learn from and the lesson we got to take out of this. The points spread out pretty evenly throughout your team tonight, except for Mimi DeBose, who goes off for 17. Uh, what is her leadership going to mean to this team this year? It's going to mean a lot. I mean, she, she's an experienced kid. She, she comes into the year being known as a shooter, but we know she's much, much more than a shooter. We know she's an all-around player. She um, leads vocally. She um, defensively understands the principles, what we're trying to do. She, she talks on the court, which is huge. So. Um, we're going to need her to play this way throughout. The first game always a measuring stick, really for both teams. And your team, again, as we said, came out real strong in the first half. Overall, how did they meet your expectations, and what are you going to be looking for before the next game? I was pleased with um, a, a resilience early through, like, like I said, about the first three quarters of the game. Because uh, I didn't think we were playing great by any means, but I thought we were battling and finding a way to to stay right in the game. I mean, um, there were times throughout we could have been a little more aggressive offensively, but we, we grinded it out on the defensive end, found a way to stay in the game, and um, had people step up when we really needed to make a play. So, you know, I was pleased with that, and now it's just the, the little things. I mean, we got we to gotta take care of limiting second-chance points, uh, limiting the other team's points off our turnovers, and, and those are things that that we've been working on and we continue to work on. We got like two weeks till we play again, so we got uh, plenty of time to improve in those areas and then build off of all the good things that we did do. Well, Coach, one final question we'll add to it too. Your first game here as head coach of the Eagles in Hanner Fieldhouse, what did you think of the crowd and the atmosphere here in Statesboro tonight? You know, it was it was exciting. I thought that what, what I was really focused on is the atmosphere of, of our team, and I felt we were together, we were one unit, and um, it definitely got loud in here when we were making a run, so it was awesome to have that support, and we're going to continue to stay together and get better and uh, hopefully give people a lot more to cheer about. Coach Bozab, as always, thanks for the time. Thanks, Justin.